America, 1860. As the clouds of war gather, one man stands at the precipice, James Buchanan, the only president to forego the comfort and support of a wife, ponders alone whether the United States should stay at peace or descend into bloody civil war. A heavy burden weighs upon the Bachelor President. with your insults and accusations! Uncle James, what is wrong? Ah, oh, Harriet. I didn't see you there. I'm sorry if my outburst startled you. It is the impending threat of war, isn't it? Oh, yes. War, it is of some concern, yes? Uncle James, I am your niece, and in your absence of a wife, the first lady of this land. Please tell me. Oh, those wigs at the Washingtonian Gazette. Again making a mockery of my status as a single man. Because I vow to never take a wife? Because I take pride in my appearance? <laughs> because I bucked with my good friend and confidant, Senator Rufus King, for a decade or two? Do these things not make me more of a man's man? I, I... Hey, excuse me, Mr. President. Yes, Captain Jeffries. Pardon the intrusion. Urgent news. A congressional page is here. Which one is it? Is it, uh, Philip? Tot? Tan? Mature for his age? I'm not really sure, sir. Uh, go on. Congress needs to know your answer concerning Kansas. Shall she enter the Union a free state or a slave state? Oh, please. Can't this wait? I'm in discussions with my niece. I should leave, Uncle. Your duty calls. Harriet, stay. Jeffries, leave. Certainly, sir. Impertinence all around me, and these vulgar rumors to blame. Perhaps a drink will settle your nerves. Whiskey or a hard cider? I was thinking of a slippery cockerel. Come again? That's what he said. <laughs> uh, a slippery cockerel, my dear. It's all the rage at this tavern I've been frequenting. The eager swallow. Uncle, you mustn't neglect your presidential responsibilities. Cast off this distraction. Anyway, who cares what anyone thinks? As long as you are comfortable with yourself and confident in your convictions. As the old saying goes, don't mutter in the cupboard. Come out of the cupboard and be! Sorry to disturb you again, Mr. President. Terrible news. South Carolina has threatened to secede. Others may follow like dominoes. And your latest edition of American Stable Boy has arrived. Goody! Sir, this calls for a strong response from the Commander-in-Chief. We are at the precipice! Captain Jeffries. Sir! Do I come off as fey to you? Mr. President, the nation awaits your answer. Tell them I am not a Nancy. Your answer regarding secession. What's all the screaming about? Sounds like fun. It's my friend and confidant, Senator Rufus King. Enter. That's what he said. <laughs> oh, did you see today's paper? Of course they made me look fat. But I guess there's no such thing as bad press. Especially when I'm doing the pressing. <laughs> Ooh, <delay>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rufus. I can't believe the grief they're giving you over this confederacy thingy. I mean, have you seen their uniforms? As far as I'm concerned, they've already lost. Ooh, delay. And by the way, I've trademarked that ooh, delay thing, so hands off, bitch. Not to be rude, Rufus, we have matters we need to tend to. And I have tenders that need to be matted. <laughs> <laughs> what, you don't think Rufus is, uh... Oh, Uncle, come it's on. It's obvious, sir. There is no shame in it, Uncle. Well, perhaps you're right, Harriet. I have been in the cupboard, hiding from my true self. Perhaps I don't have the medal for this office. Perhaps it requires a cut of a certain jib, a certain stature. Perhaps the White House is no place for a Miss Nancy. 